What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's Mighty Fan Time. And this is my reply to uh, 401 Mad Hatter's challenge, the what's your what was your first ever jersey challenge. And it was simple for me to remember it because I'll, I'll never forget this one. Um, when I grew up and was going to middle school and then high school back in the 90s, <laughs> yes, it was that long ago, <laughs> back in the, the, the early and mid-90s, <laughs> um, one of my favorite all-time teams was those 1990s Chicago Bulls teams. And I just, you know, I was such a big fan of those teams. I still keep an eye on the Bulls to this day, you know, with Derrick Rose and company. I still keep an eye on them because I have so many fond memories of those teams. And I was such a huge Bulls fan. And I know what you're thinking. Mighty Fan's first jersey was a Michael Jordan Bulls jersey. Well, you'd be wrong with that because my <laughs> first... I was a big fan of Jordan, uh, obviously. I never had the shoes, but I was a big fan of him nonetheless, of course. Most everybody was back in my youth. Um, unless you were a fan of a team that he used to beat a lot, like the Knicks or something like that. <laughs> Most, But then again, even Spike Lee was a fan of his, so I don't know. But <laughs> Most everybody was a fan of Jordan growing up, and I was a big fan of him and those Bulls teams. One of my all-time favorite players was Scottie Pippen. Robin. <laughs> To Batman, I, that that was my one of my all time favorite players, um, and I love those Bulls teams. Those were some of my all time favorite teams. If there was one team that can rival the Philadelphia teams that I'm such a big fan of, you know, outside of Philadelphia, it'd probably be those Bulls teams in the '90s. I used to go once a year to to a Bulls Sixers game at what was then the Spectrum, and of course. They moved into what was then known as the uh, the Core State Center, and now of course it's the Wells Fargo Center. But um, I used to go once a year with my dad or my mom or you know whoever. We used to go to a Sixers Bulls game, and it's the only time I ever went to a Philadelphia sporting event wearing the other team. <laughs> so yeah, I would go there and, and and root for the Bulls. The Sixers were horrible back then. This was after they traded Barkley. They were just, they were awful. I mean, they were really bad. But I was a fan of the Bulls even when, when, when Barkley was on the Sixers. I just, I was. I rooted for Barkley. I rooted for the Sixers, but I also rooted for the Bulls. <laughs> and the the um, the Sixers back then had to take a back seat, I mean, to, to the Bulls because the Bulls were just, I mean, they, they just gave me so many great years. <laughs> and I used to have so many verbal arguments at school with Fans of the Knicks, oh my God! Oh, you, you, you all who are around my age, maybe a little younger than me, certainly a little older than me, remember the NBA back in the '90s and the rivalries that took place. That's what's wrong with the NBA right now. There's no rivalries. You know, it's just kind of la di da. You know, <laughs> well, players go from team to team so often anymore. It's hard, and I understand that, but. Boy, back in the 90s, you always looked forward to those games. And the NBA on NBC was so big, you know, I still <laughs> remember the music. <laughs> I think done by John Tesh, you know, with, with the NBA on NBC and, and, and Marv Albert calling the games and all that. And all. It was big time back then. And from, from Madison Square Garden, the Bulls and Knicks, there was nothing better than, than, than Sunday afternoons watching those games. Whatever the matchups were, you always looked forward to them. And the Bulls and Knicks were just such a heated rivalry. And I know before that it was the Bulls and Pistons. But the Bulls and Knicks, oh boy. <laughs> I mean, they had playoff series like they do in hockey now. I mean, I, I still I still am not a fan of John Starks. I <laughs> because I still remember the moment when he uh when when during a playoff game when Pippen was going up for a layup and Starks like strangled him. <laughs> But that was the hatred, and that was those rough, you know, Knicks teams and, and, and Bulls teams. They just hated one another. They would shove one another, you know, all, you know, hard fouls, flagrant fouls, you know, all sorts of stuff. And, um, of course, the Pistons and Bulls used to do that too. Um, but there was a few people in, in high school that were – in uh, middle school, I should say, and high school that were fans of the New York Knicks. So we used to – and we never, you know, we never physically got into it, but we, <laughs> we, we, there was a lot of verbal back and forth. There really was. And, uh, you know, they would come at me with the Knicks, and I would come at them with the Bulls, and the playoff series had heated up even more. 
And I got the better of them most of the time, though. That's right. Knicks fans know. <laughs> uh, they did beat the Bulls once, but Jordan wasn't on that team But uh, in the playoffs. But, boy, we, we used to. <laughs> yeah, I, I learned a lot about rivalries back then. Um, and, yeah, it, but I was just such a big fan. I, everything I had was Bulls. I mean, I, I went to school every day with, like, Bulls paraphernalia. My yearbook pictures were taken with Bulls sweatshirts. I mean, just, <laughs> you know, it's like it was, yeah, it, it, it was like that. And I still have, and I know Mitchell and Ness are putting out the, the shooting jackets from the 1990s. I still have the Bulls warm-up shooting jacket and pants, the breakaway pants from the 90s. still fit, too. I'll have to show them in a future video. I still have it. So, you know, Mitchell and Ness may be making them now, but I already have it. <laughs> um, I know uh, Throwback King has some of the old ones, too. So, yeah. In fact, I used to wear those breakaway pants when I went. When I, I went to Lower Marion High School for one year. I was there with Kobe. But was there for one, then I went to another high school after that, more of a private school. And... Um, I was on the basketball team there. I was a shooting guard. And that's right. My fan used to get it done. But anyhow, <laughs> my coach was actually from Chicago. So he and I, you know, we got along just great. And <laughs> and um, I used to wear the breakaway Bulls warm-up pants during our layup drills before the games. <laughs> that's how crazy I was with the Bulls back then. And... Um, but my favorite, like a long story short, I know it's usually a long story with me, but I was a huge fan of Pippen. It was the first jersey I ever owned. I still remember it at the King of Prussia Mall. There was a sporting goods store. They had tons of jerseys. I think that's when I got into it. I think that's when it kind of seeped into my mind about jerseys was the store. I forget the name of the place. It was pretty big, though, and they had a Scottie Pippen uh, champion road red replica jersey there, and I was so enthralled with it, and my dad bought it for me at the time, and it was the first jersey I ever owned. And ever since then, no, well, it's kind of grown <laughs> since that. And uh, but I used to get those champion replicas. I had a lot of Bulls, you know, jerseys, and uh, I had a lot of other teams and, and players, you know, who I liked back in the day, uh, including Iverson um, and um, and Kobe. You know, his rookie year, I got his jersey and such. But the Bulls were huge with me, and, and Pippen, I mean, I had like a, over 100 Scottie Pippen cars, including his rookie card, you know, um, I think I even had a card of his from his, his days at the um, University of Central Arkansas, <laughs> somewhere in that in that pile, um, but I, I had so many different, like, you know, I used to have a subscription to some magazine that came, like an NBA magazine, and you know, just reading the articles and stuff, such. I used to have Sports Illustrated for kids, you know, back in the day. And, and, and that's really when I got into sports was back in, in the 90s. And, of course, the Bulls was one of the teams that really, you know, uh, pushed me into basketball and, and having a love for basketball and, um, you know, watching Jordan and Pippen and those teams, both the original three-peat teams and then the, the, uh, the latter three-peat teams when Rodman came on. It was so interesting seeing Rodman as a bull after all those years he tormented them with the Pistons. But um, the one thing I kind of feel bad about, though, is that I never did get the Mitchell Ness Pippen jersey because I, I always kind of wanted to. Um, but just one thing after another kind of led me not to. Every time I go for the – you guys know how it is, you know. You, you, you go with something in mind to these sales or whatever – uh, or maybe you're watching something on eBay or whatever, and something else comes along. Maybe you've been looking for it a little more, and you pass on the other uh, item. And that's the way it was for me at those sales at Mitchell and S. I had like the Pippin jersey in my hand one time, and I saw some other jerseys that I wanted a little more, and I, I picked those up instead. But hopefully someday I'll be able to add that, because that would be a really uh, a nice item for me to get, because it's a nice little you know something that I remember from my youth. Definitely want to get a Mitchell and Ness Bulls jersey at some point from those teams, um, either uh, Jordan, Pippen, or Rodman. But uh, yeah, I have fond memories from those teams, and I still have the hats and shirts. I don't know what I where, where the older three P um, paraphernalia is at this point, but I came across these hats uh, a few months ago, and they brought back fond memories. So. 
I have the this is and these are all original too. I, I think Mitchell Ness actually made a redo of this one some time ago, but this is the nineteen ninety six championship when they beat the um the Sonics in Jordan's return. Well, one of the, the I guess the next year of his return, but there it is. And that's like leather on the ball there. It's really nice quality. You don't see these too many of these type of hats anymore, but for championships, but it's the original logo athletic, so you know. Um, and then this one is from the 1997 season. That's the first year they beat Utah. Another logo athletic, and then this next one is from '98. This was their last championship to date. Kind of call this the Rodman hat because you know you always had that funky hair <laughs> designs and all. So you know it's got kind of a little design going around there, but and it shows all the years that they won in the front. And this is a starter hat. Of course, they're all Velcro back or snapback or whatever back then. But still have many fun memories of those teams. In fact, I picked this hat up few years ago at Models and I got it because it has the championship banners on the back. <laughs> and I remember every one of them brings back in fact the one I think I, I I have the most fondest memory of, well besides the ninety eight one when Jordan hit the shot uh over uh, a fall in uh Russell, some say he pushed off. Well maybe so, but he's Jordan, you know. But then <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, uh, is the 93 championship when they beat the Suns. That was such an epic uh, championship win. It just went back and forth. And of course, that was a great Suns team. They had Barkley and Kevin Johnson and Marley and all those guys, the other veterans they had on that team. And the Bulls, of course, were going for the three-peat. We all should remember how the Bulls won that game with the John Paxson three-pointer. And I was, oh, my goodness, I'll never forget that. I was so ecstatic after that happened. I was just jumping all over the house. <laughs> You know, I had my, my jersey on and old hat and everything, and I was watching the game and just jumping all over the place. It was only, you would think that I lived there or something, you know. I was just that happy about that. And uh, I remember the next day at work, because they were at work, school. I wasn't at work at that time, but that's school I got in with my Bulls paraphernalia. And I knew a p couple people there who were Suns fans, and they kept giving it to me, you know, the whole, the whole series. So I finally got back at the... <laughs> They said, you got lucky. <laughs> but, yeah, just so many fond memories with that team. And, of course, I used to go, you know, to the games and watch them. I'm happy I was able to do that. You know, I can say I saw those you know, those great Bulls teams live when I was, you know, when I was younger in their heyday. And they were kind of like the Beatles of basketball. Everybody followed them around, you know. <laughs> Particularly, like I said, the latter three championship teams with Rodman on there. People just wanted to see what he was going to do. <laughs> What cameraman he was going to kick that night, but <laughs> but um, but no, uh, 401 Mad Hatter, uh, to again to answer your your challenge, I'm sorry I don't have the jersey in front of me, but it's the old champion replica, uh, Chicago Bulls Road Red Scotty Pippen uh, jersey. That was my first ever jersey of any sport, and um, such great memories of those teams, and um. You know, thanks for the challenge. It was a great challenge. Brought back a lot of good memories by me, <laughs> and I'm sure others. Um, you know, we all remember our first uh, jersey in, in jersey collecting, and there's always a story and a reason that goes with it. So, so that's mine. So, hope you enjoyed the uh, reply to your challenge. And by the way, I would be remiss if I didn't say, "Let's go Flyers!" Is <laughs> now they're up. Speaking of rivalries, now they're up 3-0 against the. Uh, the Penguins, we're just going to forget about those Lemieux jerseys sitting back there. But <laughs> yeah, I was a Lemieux fan growing up, too. I mean, not, not over the Flyers, but certainly I was a fan of his. So I do have some of his jerseys. I'm just not wearing them now. <laughs> They're kind of just tucked away. In fact, it's funny. Anytime I wear one, people think it's a Crosby jersey, and he's one of the public enemies around here. And in other cities now, too. But... <laughs> Um, every time I wear one of my Lemieux Penguins jerseys, not when they're playing the Flyers, keep in mind, but any time else when I go to a local mall or something, people kind of come up to me and say, a Crosby jersey, and then they notice it's a Lemieux, and they say, oh, well, that's okay then, as long as it's not Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But yes, the Flyers are up 3-0 in this first round series against the uh, the Penguins, who should win a lot of Oscars for all their diving that they do after you look at them wrong. I, I oh my goodness, it's shameful what they do. <laughs> it's it's like you just poke them and they flail down like they were shot so they get a penalty called oh it's disgraceful ah, they deserve to lose but anyhow <laughs> anyhow um yes my flyers are up 3-0 i'm really excited about that there's been some great series going on it got a little chippy in the last game <laughs> with the flyers and uh, penguins as kind of figured it would at some point in the series those teams hate one another. Talk about rivalries. Those teams really, they can't stand one another. And uh, so we'll see what happens again. I'm not making any predictions, but I am happy that the Flyers are up 3-0. And we'll see if they go for the sweep tomorrow night. We'll see. <laughs> again, I'm not predicting it. I'm just saying. Not predicting. Just saying. <laughs> but anyhow, once again, uh, to 401 Mad Hatter, again, shout out to you. Shout out for the challenge. It was a great challenge by you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm sorry I don't have the jersey in front of me, but trust me, I still have it. You just have to find it. Maybe I'll show it in, like, a future video. If I come across it, I will show it in a future video, just so it has been it has been showed. <laughs> but anyhow, all my uh, subscribers, big shouts to all of you. It's getting late, so I better get to bed. i got another day of work tomorrow. Uh, big shouts to all of you, to all my um, fellow jersey heads. As always, a big shout to all of you family and friends big shout outs to all of you and let's go flyers let's go phillies sixers well we're yeah they're not really going but <laughs> oh well <laughs> would have been too tough to beat the heater bulls anyhow so we'll see what the bulls do <laughs> anyhow and there's always next season right but anyhow uh <laughs> um this is mighty fan saying peace and i will see you all in that next video okay bye